to again understand this architecture okay so now if you go here in this architecture so now we know we have some sets of EC2 instance here and again another sets of EC2 instance will be here right so technically even this users accessing our EC2 instance then they don't know right which EC2 instance they need to call so for that we need something in between between these users and our EC2 instance to balance the load so basically what we are going to do here we are going to use the load balancer and then this request will come to the load balancer and from here this will get balance so some request will go to this EC2 instance and some request will go to this EC2 instance so this is purpose of the load balancer and AWS has a service called elastic load balancer because that is elastic in nature again this very detailed topic will not go there so that's why our auto scaling is asking do you want to add load balancer here okay for this demo we are not going okay now here we are not going to add load balancer now we'll create it separately okay but yes we need the load balancer now let's go to the next steps next step is the health check okay so how auto scaling will know if it's launching ac2 instance any ec2 instance this is healthy or not right it's need to check the status health of this ec2 instance okay so for that is going to use ec2 health check okay what is this ec2 health check so in ec2 dashboard you have seen there was two by two status check right what does it mean it means one is about okay in two by two one is about if there's any problem in the hardware then we'll see our instance is not running okay and another is about the software on this ec2 instance okay so if these two things are fine okay then we'll see two by two status check pass it means our ec2 instance is working fine there is no any problem so here this is by default configure this is always enabled okay so auto scaling will make sure and check if this 2 by 2 is passing so it will know okay this ec2 instance is healthy but now one catch here okay so let's say if you go and select the maybe existing load balancer or maybe you can attach new load balancer now if you go here in health check you see we have additional option to enable turn on elastic load balancer health check okay now if you remember request is coming to the load balancer right and from the load balancer request is coming to the ec2 instance then how load balancer will know which ec2 instance is healthy and which is not held unhealthy right so ec2 instance also need to understand these instances are healthy or not okay so we can also enable this and with this it will check this instances are healthy or not okay and for that we have some additional configuration that what we need to do if we select here okay then we have to go and do some additional configuration anyways let's not do here let's go back here go with the no load balancer okay default settings then we have some more settings over here so let it be as it is okay and let's go to the next step <coughs> now next steps is and most important aspect and the feature of auto scaling is how many instances do we or you want to run in your uh, in your account or not in your account for this application right so for that we have to do some configuration okay so here we see we have three configurations okay so one configuration is here desired capacity so desired capacity means how many EC2 instance you want to run all the time. So this is called desired capacity. Okay. So for these settings, we are going to use, okay, let's say two. So I want to run two instances all the time. Then what will be the minimum? Okay. So minimum may be two. And what could be the maximum? Means when we want to scale, we want to add more instances 
when you have the more load so how many instances maximum it can go so that's called the maximum capacity so let's put maximum capacity maybe four okay now we know this is the capacity of our ec2 instances next is the scaling okay not okay so this was the scaling now here is the automatic scaling so here what you see this was the scaling means we are saying two ec2 instances will be there okay then minimum one maximum four okay but this is something you can go and add ec2 instance manually in auto scaling that is the one option this another option right we want to scale automatic scaling so this is the feature of the auto scaling and this is what we want okay so how do you automatically scale this ec2 instances that's where we use automatic scaling so you see here we have no scaling policy <coughs> means if you don't want to define you can manually go ahead and here instead of this desire capacity 2 in once it will start running you can go and change this theory okay so auto scaling will automatically add one more instance for you okay and maybe after some days you can go again you can make it four okay so again it will add another ec2 instance but this is something you have to do that right but you must be thinking this any way it could be done automatically for you yes that's where you, we use target tracking scaling policy now here what you will see in the target tracking scaling policy this will get a scale means new ec2 instances will be get added to our auto scaling based on some ec2 instance performance matrix and this matrix are average cpu utilization and we have some more matrix here so based on that we'll be able to add more instances not auto scaling will add more instances to our for this application inside auto scaling okay so for time being i don't want to do that maybe that we can cover the later okay for time being we'll do it the manually again there is the more configuration like instance maintenance policies okay let's not go in that detail okay again instance scale in protection again we can enable it but let's go to the next step for time being okay now here we have the notification what is this notification so if you see here based on some event type means when a new instance is getting launched okay then if you want to get notified or maybe on your email id or maybe on your phone with the sms then we can set up this notification so what could be the different event you want to get notified it could be when new instance is getting launched maybe instance is getting terminated from your auto scaling or maybe when auto scaling launching a instance is getting failed or maybe is getting terminated so based on this okay we can get notified and for that we need to create the sns topic and we can configure this but we not need it here okay let's go to the next okay again you can add some tags here and go to the next and review each and everything and create auto scaling and now we see here this is going to launch some ec2 instances for us okay let's select this and once we select we see some more details here okay and let me scroll a little bit up and here we see the activity in activity we see this is launched to ec2 instance for us now let's go to the ec2 dashboard now we see we have two running ec2 instances and now this is getting initialized right so our auto scaling is adding more ec2 instances for us so from auto scaling perspective this is successful it was able to launch it so that's why we see this is successful okay and here we are seeing two ec2 instance is getting launched for us okay now here we can add some scaling policies that what i was discussing and talking okay then some more configuration you can do here anyways now i was saying 
okay now we see because of our this configuration desired capacity minimum capacity and maximum capacity we have this EC2 instances coming up in our EC2 dashboard right so as of now as desired capacity is 2 right so that's why we see here we have 2 EC2 instance but if you let's say if you want to make it 1 right and you want to manually scale in scale out so that you can do from here so let's go here okay and here change this desired capacity to 1 okay and update it and now let's go to the activity and here we will see we'll wait for some second and refresh this what is going to do it will try to terminate any of this running ec2 instances and let's go to the dashboard here and refresh here it's loading now we see one instance has gone right and if you go here let me refresh this now we see one instance termination in the progress now how this is happening how this all magic is happening if you go here in our architecture and let's see if we are able to bring back our all in sketches what we have did here right yes it's back now now how this is happening here this auto scaling this auto scaling this auto scaling launching this ec2 instances for us right and also terminating this ec2 instances for us the configuration what we have did based on that configuration now to launch this ec2 instance right this is using this launch template with all configuration okay that's why we need this launch template perfect now let's go to our higher level architecture and minimize this and here we have created this okay auto scaling right launch template everything looks good now now what next next we want to load balance this traffic right then for that we need this load balancer now let's go to our aws console okay and let's go back to our ec2 once again and here we can launch a load balancer so we see we have the load balancer option here okay and click the load balancer and now here we can create the load balancer and here this we see we have three types of load balancer let's select this and here i want to show you something now let's open this okay what is load balancer okay this documentation now load balancer has some component we need to understand this component as a cloud engineer okay what these components are let's understand this so we know we are going to create the load balancer this load balancer okay but this load balancer to work we need target group we need target group here so you have also may be seen this settings here let's go in ec2 okay here and if we click here we see here we have option to create the target group now let's understand what is this target group and why do we need it so here what happened when any traffic will come to the load balancer now load balancer will send its traffic to some ec2 instances right and this ec2 instances is the ultimate target where we want to send the traffic right so what we can do we can create different type of set of instances okay maybe it could be even different set of the applications where we want to send the traffic maybe it could be a little bit confusing for you but don't worry okay so for load balancer we could have multiple target group where we want to send the request and this target group is nothing but collection of ec2 instances collection of this target group is collection of our ec2 instances where it will send the traffic okay so how load balancer will send the traffic 
लोड बैलेंसर विल सेंड द ट्रैफिक बेस्ड ऑन सम लिसनर लिसनर रोल्स ओके दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कन्फिगर वेन वी कन्फिगर द लोड बैलेंसर ओके सो बिफोर क्रिएटिंग दिस लोड बैलेंसर वी नीड दिस टारगेट ग्रुप ओके सो लेट्स गो हैड एंड क्रिएट द टारगेट ग्रुप नाउ यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज टारगेट ग्रुप राइट सो लेट्स गो हियर एंड नाउ लेट्स गो टू द टारगेट ग्रुप इंस्टीड ऑफ लोड बैलेंसर एंड क्लिक टारगेट ग्रुप सो वॉट विल बी द टारगेट फॉर दिस आवर अप्लीकेशन वी नो इट विल बी ए इस टू इंस्टेंस इट कुड बी ऑल्सो आई पी एड्रेस कुड बी लेमडा एंड कुड बी अनादर अप्लीकेशन लोड बैलेंसर ओके बट हियर वी नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी रनिंग टू ई सी टू इंस्टेंसेस राइट इफ यू गो हियर वी हैव टू ई सी टू इंस्टेंसेस रनिंग सी वन ई सी टू इंस्टेंस इज रनिंग राइट सो वी दिस इज आवर टारगेट करेक्ट सो लेट्स गो हियर दिस ई सी टू इंस्टेंस ओके लेट मी पुट इट ब्रिंग इट हियर एंड देन वॉट इज टारगेट ग्रुप नेम वी नीड टू गिव द नेम ऑफ इट वी कॉल इट एपिक रेट्स रेट्स टी जी टारगेट ग्रुप एंड देन ऑन दिस अप्लीकेशन ओके ऑन दिस टारगेट ग्रुप वी नो वील हैव दिस दिस ई सी टू इंस्टेंस राइट ऑन दिस ई सी टू इंस्टेंस वी हैव रनिंग अप्लीकेशन एंड अप्लीकेशन इज रनिंग ऑन विच पोर्ट दिस इज रनिंग ऑन पोर्ट एटी ऑन एस टी टी पी राइट दिस इज वॉट वी हैव कन्फिगर्ड इन प्रीवियस टू प्रीवियस सेशन राइट सो दैट वी नीड टू डू मे बी इफ दिस इज एस टी टी पी और मे बी ऑन टी सी पी टी एल एस सो वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट द रिस्पेक्टिव प्रोटोकॉल एंड द पोर्ट ऑफ हरियर बट वी नो फॉर दिस अप्लीकेशन वी आर यूजिंग एस टी टी पी एंड दैट वॉज दिस इज आई पी वी फोर एंड दिस आई पी वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम वेयर फ्रॉम आवर नेटवर्किंग एनी मीज लेट्स नॉट गो देयर and now again we need to select the vpc where these instances are running our application servers are running so it's running in epic rates right so protocol is http1 now scroll down and here we need to check the health check okay so how it will know application is running right so our application is running on port 80 Port eighty on the slash, or it could be index dot php. Currently, our application is not running, so we don't know. But anyways, I think application is running now on the new instance, right? Let's select this and see. Ah, okay. So now here we see we don't have public IP address, right? So this is missing. Why this is missing? this one things okay so let's fix this okay so you know now now let's click here go to our subnet okay and in the public subnet when we are launching any ec2 instance so we want this instance should have the public ip address okay so for that what we need to do we need to go in the settings and edit subnet settings and here we are going to enable auto assign public ip address okay and then save it so this is we did for the public subnet 1 and let's do same for public subnet 2 so what will happen next time when any instances will get launch here then it will have the public ip address to ensure it has the public ip address then you can do our testing okay perfect <coughs> now let me save this okay somehow it's reloaded not got saved save this now this is got set perfect now we know this instance don't have the public ip address so this something happen is it to instance okay or it was management console need to reload it now we know this don't have the public ip address right how do we need it how do we get it so let's do one thing now we see the magic of auto scaling we'll go here and select this right and edit this let's make this maybe zero again okay do let's make it three okay make it three and after some time we'll make it two so what it will do it will delete the okay it's going to create okay no 
let's make it two okay so it's going to launch one new ec2 instance okay and after that will come again here then we will again change it to one so it will terminate one okay now you will see when it will terminate it okay something will happen there okay so now we need to know which ec2 instance will be get terminated okay so that's called a termination policy okay so for this termination aws follows some rules okay again we need to give all these details here but no worries so let's test this first so let's go to the ec2 instance and see if we are running ec2 instance so perfect now this is launching one more ec2 instance right and this will have the public ip address we see here the public ip address let's okay but before that let's go and change it again or auto scaling put it to one because i don't want to get charged unnecessarily change it and we're going to change it <laughs> no, 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 no. selected the wrong tab okay edit then this configuration correct change it to one okay and save this update this then it will again start terminating one of the instance and it will terminate the world ec2 instance this is some rules okay again this very detailed topics i will cover later now go here go to the ec2 instance and select our ec2 okay this instance and copy and let's see if our application is running over here okay now we see we get we got time out okay because we know why we're getting time out because database is not running currently i have a stop database because i don't want it to get charged okay so it means this is working now right so now let's go back and refresh this and okay one of the instance supposed to terminate from here it will terminate it okay let's check our auto scaling activities okay so when it's terminate before terminating it's ensure everything's working fine okay then just go and it will terminate it oh no actually somehow we have not updated this right it's not got updated so let's edit this and make a desire capacity one then let's update this and let's see if this is number got updated this number got updated updated now desired desired capacity is one okay now let's go on ec2 instance once again and it will start terminating it very soon okay now you see this is gone right bottom is is gone so anyways now this is done let's go back again to our target group so let's quickly fill that http and <laughs> yes this was epic rates tg target group http 80 let's select the vpc and health check okay now i was talking about this timeout right so let me show you what i mean i mean here if you see here we are accessing this application here on slash right so on this we can check the status on the slash and again you can also check here on slash dot okay index index dot php because this application has the index file on php so you can put either the one either slash okay on slash our httpd apache server is running or maybe index dot php okay so this is where it will check the health of the application if this is running it means application is healthy right Anyways, let me close this and let's go back here and let's complete this process okay then we can have some advanced health setup settings okay i'm not going to talk here okay so this is some default configuration okay and it has its own meaning like healthy threshold okay so let me quickly explain this healthy threshold means if when this okay how load balancer understood this any particular ec2 instance is healthy so it will check five times and if in each five times consecutive five times it will see health of this ec2 instance is 
healthy is passing then it will assume this is healthy instance okay so it will check five consecutive time to ensure issue to instance is healthy before declaring it this is healthy okay same goes for the unhealthy okay when two consecutive time if issue to instance health check get failed then it will declare this issue to instance is unhealthy okay then you have the interval how frequently do will it will check health of the issue to instance every 30 second okay and then success so once it's, when it's checking so success code is 200 okay so again this depends application to application okay so this is default configuration let it be and go to the next and now here we need to select our running issue to instances right so here we have this issue to instance we'll select it okay and then include here okay so this issue to instance getting included here in our target group is got added okay now create the target group now this target group has we have one running ec2 instance right now couple of things here now here we see we have zero healthy instance right and zero unhealthy instance and one unused instance what does it mean it means this instance is not used as of now because in this target group okay there's no traffic is coming right it's not able to understand okay so what do we need to do to make it to make it used okay we need to create the load balancer once we create load balancer and attach this target group with the load balancer then this target group know okay this is listening to this load balancer okay then it will become either healthy or unhealthy based on our this health check configuration what we have did here okay now let's go and create the load balancer now before we create load balancer let's go ahead and start our rds instance because starting the rds instance will take some time right we have seen yesterday so we have one is rds instance and this is a stop select this and go to the action a start and this is a starting okay let's go back and we'll go to the load balancer go to the load balancing and create a load balancer and here we have four types of load balancer in the aws one is network load balancer sorry application load balancer then network load balancer gateway load balancer and classic load balancer classic load balancer not used anymore okay so this is got duplicated last year 2022 in the september but for this application we are going to use application load balancer i will create a detailed videos on this load balancers okay let's select this and here we have to give some configuration okay again it's very well explained how this load balancer works so i will recommend please go ahead and read this this will be very helpful anyways here we'll give name of this load balancer so let's give this epic reads lb load balancer and this load balancer could be two type maybe internet facing or maybe internal but we know this application is web application and we want this load balancer dns attached to our domain name so this is internet facing load balancer so we'll select internet facing load balancer if you don't want publicly accessible this load balancer endpoint in that case you can go for the internal load balancer there are many use cases we use that but let's not talk about that let's go for the internet facing load balancer okay ip address it will be ipv4 by default okay now let's select the network where this load balancer will get launch okay it's a very important topic and complex topic let's not go here okay so you see in this architecture our load balancer is somewhere in this public subnet and this public subnet okay so we know this load balancer is called elastic load balancer right right e l b either this application load balancer or network load balancer or gateway load balancer 
all our ELB elastic load violation. It means once we do this configuration, after that our task is done and AWS will make sure this is scalable. This more traffic, they will create bigger load balancer. If less traffic, it will be a smaller load balancer. So this is elastic in nature. That's why this is called elastic load balancer. So what AWS do? AWS, okay, so we need to tell AWS about where it will launch this load balancer. As this is public load balancer, so we need to give the networking and in networking, we need to give our two public subnet details. So that's where it's going to launch our, this load balancer, okay? That's where, why we are selecting the networking there, okay? Let's go back to AWS console and select here. Now it will ask the ability zone where you want to launch this. So we'll know our one public subnet is in the AP South 1A and another is in AP South 1B. So in AP South 1A way, we see this public subnet got selected by default. So it's good, but this is wrong. We need to change this to public subnet 2. Okay. In this two subnet is going to launch this load balancer. Then again, we need to secure our this load balancer. And for that, we need the security group. Okay. So we don't need the default security group. Okay. And we don't have any security group here. So let's go ahead and create one security group. Okay. For the load balancer only. So we'll go here in the VPC and the security group and create a security group called Epic Rates ALB or maybe load balancer SC. Okay. So we call this is LB load balancer security group. And we have only one VPC and we need this in this VPC. And what traffic we want to allow? We want to allow which one? HTTP, HTTP from anywhere, right? And let's go ahead and save this. Perfect. Let's go back here and we will refresh this. And now we will select our epic reads lb load balancer and then listener what is listener where this load balancer is going to listen on http port 80 and when it will listen where it will send the traffic right we have understood from the this design right architecture so on this target group where we have this application running correct now scroll down we have some some tags you can also add application, okay, web application firewall for the security perspectives, okay. You can also add AWS global accelerator and many more. Let's skip this. This is for the other times I will cover and create the load balancer. And this is creating. It will take couple of seconds and our load balancer it will be ready, okay. So select the load balancer and now here we see this is provisioning and then we are going to get the dns for this okay but now meantime let's go to our target group because target group we want to see this ec2 instance okay how this looks like here right so okay now we see here okay now what i wanted to show you here we see now it's getting initialized right so now this EC2 instance is getting in slice. It was unused initially. Okay. Unused initially. So in couple of seconds, mostly it will become healthy. Okay. So let's refresh this. It's still getting in slice. It's checking the health. And you know, before it's going to declare this is as a healthy. Okay. It's going to check five times and interval of the 30 seconds. Well, Okay, meantime, now we have started our database. Look at the status of the database. Now this is available. Now I believe if you go to our EC2, now let's go to our EC2 dashboard and get public IP address. 
of the issued instance and see if this is running. If not, then we, maybe we need to fix something. But that time we notice it was not able to connect with the database. So I believe that was the problem, but we cannot be sure. Okay, being a cloud engineer, cloud architect, okay. We have to always check if something is running and not running, what happening over there, okay. So this is taking some time. So let's wait. And meantime, let me close this tab. This tab is not needed any more, okay. Database is working perfectly fine. Load balancer, check, okay. So it's provisioning. Let's close this, refresh this. So load balancer again takes some time. Now we see load balance is also active and we should also get the DNS of the load balancer, okay. So this is the DNS of the load balancer. So let's copy this and it should also work, okay. Because this is now pointing to our target group. Okay, let me change this to HTTP, HTTP, okay. Now again here, I want to change this to HTTP, HTTP, and let's wait for some time while it's loading. And now our, okay, this is healthy, load balancer is healthy. Let's see the target group. What is the status of the target group? Okay, still initializing. So we know it's going to take some time, right? Got okay. Meantime, this is uh, getting loaded. Okay, target group here. Okay, we know, no, no, no here. This is still getting initialized. But here, we are able to access our application from the IP address. Let me bring it here, okay? Now we see this is working, we are able to access it, okay? So now application is running fine, but we want to access this application from where? From our load balancer, right? But you see here it's not working, we are getting, it's getting failed, why? Because this is not, health is not get past it here, right? Because of that. Anyways, so for that we need to wait here, okay? Let's refresh this. It's still in slicing, so yeah, we know it's going to take some time. Okay, perfect. So here we still we see this is getting initialized. So as I said, this will take some time, but meantime, this application is running from our load balancer. Okay, so this is again this is something this is some delay it takes some time, but we see on this load balancer, right? Our application is able to work fine. Perfect now this part is done now let's go back to our architecture once again okay so you see we have what we have did now we have the web server we have the okay now we have this server high available we have the load balancer and next we want to add this load balancer to our root 53 and this is something we can do in the next session